So right now I'm going to show you how to use iframe in HTML. Well, right now, as you notice, I have my body tag. Inside of the body tag, I have header one called iframe in HTML. And if I view it, it's just this header. And underneath it, I want a frame to appear. So I'm going to say iframe, just like that. And I'm going to end it just like that. So we have opened the tag and we ended it. We save it. And if we refresh our page, you'll notice that a frame will appear on our page. You know, I want something to appear in this box. So now inside of the code, I can right here inside of the beginning of the iframe tag, I can use the source attribute. So it's called SRC equals to then two quotation marks. And then you type in the name of the website that you want to open. So I want to type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www dot and then the name of the website and dot com or dot net just like that. So now I have inserted the HBO website. So I'm going to save it and refresh it. You'll notice that HBO's website will appear in that frame. So now it's kind of small, but we can simply use some other attributes to increase the size of the frame, like maximize it. So now I'm going to use so width attribute, all right? Then I can say 100%. So 100%, just like that. So save it and refresh it. You'll notice that it will open it just like that. Now, you know, it's 100%, but I want it to be, you know, I want the height to be also 100%. So I can say height 100%. So save it, refresh it. You'll notice that it's 100%, all right? So we have made it 100%. Give it a border if you want. So for example, right here, I can style it with a border if I want. So I can say style and I can say border, all right? So border red, so I can say solid maybe. So that save it. We have added you know a border to our frame and now it's 100 percent but we can probably decrease it to probably 50 percent or 60 percent. So 60 percent here, 60 percent here. Now save it and refresh it. You'll notice that it's 60 percent and it has a red border that's what we give it all right iframe like a lot of websites they don't want third party websites to embed their websites for example if I type in youtube.com, so youtube.com, if I type in youtube.com, as you notice, it will refuse to connect because YouTube does not allow other websites to use YouTube on their websites. Also, Facebook, if you type in Facebook, so facebook.com, it still refuses to connect because they don't allow third party websites to embed their websites all right but there are some tools that you can use instead of iframe and I'm, in the next video i'm going to show you that so now i hope this video has helped and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below